In this video, I am going to cover how to add a VoiceThread link into Ultra. There's two steps, really. It's creating the link that you need to do, and then it's enabling that link. And we're not going to actually enable the link. We're only going to create the link in this video. And I'll show you how to enable the link because it's enabling it is there's multiple different directions that you can take to have different types of assignments. So for now, we're just going to look at creating that link. There's two main ways that you can do this. I'll show you the one that I like least, and that is to go in Ultra to Books and Tools. And you just click on here and it'll pull up the Institutional Tools. And it's, of course, V, so you'll have to browse all course tools. And then you scroll down to the bottom and you can click plus here. The reason I don't like this as much is because it's just going to add it at the very top. And we'll see that it, how it does that or I'm sorry, the very bottom, and it's created one here, but that's not necessarily why I want it. So if you just want to create one and you're testing it out, it's not a big deal, but I like to add materials exactly where I want them. So for instance, I have an example module here, and I want a voice thread between the job aid and the assignment. I want some sort of discussion. I want to create that link exactly there and not have to create it somewhere else and drag it to where I want it. So in order to do that, you kind of go between the two items in Ultra, and there's this fuchsia line with a plus sign. And you click that, and you're going to have options. And the one you want to go to is Content Market. So when you click on that, you're going to have that same exact page, but because I went to it in a different way, it's going to show up exactly where I want it on my module structure. So when I click here, I have two different options. I could click up here. All that's going to do is take me to my own VoiceThread page. And that's not what we want here. Sometimes that could be useful to you, um, but we want to actually create a voice thread. So we're going to hit the plus sign here. And you'll see that it pops up right here. Rather than the bottom where I don't want it, it's right where I want it. In another video, I'm going to show you how to actually set up this link. Right now, all it would do would be to take students to their main voice thread page. And that creates a lot of confusion for students if you don't actually set it up a way that you want to route them to the exact place in VoiceThread. And that'll make sense as I show you how to create those different options. But this is kind of that general overview of creating a link.